Okay, we have a cheese processing company wants to estimate the mean cholesterol content of all one ounce servings types of cheese. The estimate must be within 0.85 milligram, so that's your error of the population mean. So with this error and a 95% confidence, we want to find a sample size. Notice it says assume the samples, assume the population standard deviation. That's important. When you know the population standard deviation, that's how you know you're going to use a Z. If you did not know the population standard deviation, then you can't use a Z. You have to use the T. So this is the sample size formula, and I can kind of cheat and get this small um, Z values for my confidence interval of 95% and get 1.96. I plug in everything they give me, so my standard deviation, my population standard deviation, my error, and I get my answer of 53. There is actually a way to do this in StatCrunch. So in StatCrunch, if you go to Stat, Z Stats, again, because I know the population standard deviation, one sample, this is just one sample, and then I want to go to power sample size. So this one right here, power sample size. And then when you click on it, this box opens and you have to click confidence interval width. So be sure you click on that. And then you plug in everything you know. So you know 95% standard deviation, but what's up with the width? The width being a confidence interval, there's going to be a lower cutoff and an upper cutoff. So you take two times the error that they told you, and that's where the 1.7 comes from. You hit compute, and guess what? You get 53 again. Don't worry about that they changed this, okay, to get us close to 1.7, but you get the actual same sample size. So this is a pretty fast way to not have to go through the sample size formula. All right, so I want to actually find my confidence interval about the mean. So I can do this with StatCrunch once again. Stat, Z stats, one sample with summary. They didn't give me any data. They just give me some summary values. They give me the sample mean of 31. They give me a sample, or I'm sorry, I keep saying sample. The population standard deviation, why I'm in the Z, 3.14. And then they said to use what you got on part A for your sample size. Be sure you have the confidence interval clicked and you have the right confidence and you click compute and there is your confidence interval. So visually, that looks like this, right? So 30.15, 31.85, which says if we went out and took a whole bunch of samples, okay, of, of a sample size 53, we would accept, we would expect our population mean to fall within this interval okay so 95 out of 100 times so then they want you to say well what if does it seem likely that the population mean could be within three percent of the sample mean well find three percent of the sample mean and create a new lower and upper interval and see if you're in that interval and you're not okay so this would certainly be uh, it does definitely does not seem likely. They want you to do the same thing with the 0.3%. So I just moved my decimal for 0. Point, ooh, that's wrong, isn't it? I didn't, oops, sorry, I didn't change it. That should be 0. 0.003, right? Because you move your decimal two places to the left. This answer is still right. That's what I get for, you know what I did, right? I copied and pasted this. <laughs> And so um, just be sure that you change this to 0 0.003 and then you get this value. And so now that's what you're being asked is, does this actually fall within this interval? And you will see that it actually does.